movies. They're like books, but louder. Ever since I can remember, I've loved going to the movie theater, intentionally burning myself with hot butter and trying to sue the theater. But as much as I like the movies, there's nothing better than seeing one crash and burn. The new Hollywood release, Dear Evan Hansen, is inviting internet mockery and an unwelcome reception from critics, not the least over its decision to cast 27-year-old Ben Platt in the role of a high school student. One reviewer called the age-defying portrayal disturbing, while a writer for The Guardian wrote, the attempt to make Platt seem younger somehow renders him both older and inhuman, an act of near sabotage so distracting it basically renders the movie unrecoverable. You're telling me the is supposed to be 17? I'm pretty sure I saw this guy at a strip club in the 80s. And nothing against this actor. He's talented. I'm sure he'd be a fantastic lead in a movie about a guy going back to school for his second master's degree. But I find it very hard to believe this kid recently grew his first pube. It doesn't matter how good an actor is. If I see anybody that old in a high school parking lot, I'm calling the cops. And yes, I'm also in the parking lot, but not because I'm a creep. I'm just there to sell them beer. <laughs> but let's be fair to dear Evan Hansen. Hollywood has a long history of trying to make its stars appear younger, and an equally long history of failing at it. When you see the next Will Smith and Robert De Niro movies, you may be shocked to see the actors looking decades younger. The Irishman drew attention for its extensive use of digital technology to de-age the actors, allowing De Niro and others to appear to be decades younger. At age 76, he's joked that the technology will allow him to prolong his career indefinitely. Yes, digital technology, a force so powerful, it almost gave LeBron James the ability to act. And while the Irishman was able to make De Niro's face 30 years younger, there was one small issue. His body was still old as shit. Look at him trying to beat up that guy. The Tin Man is watching that scene going, and I thought my joints were f***ed up. If you ask me, the most impressive thing about this scene isn't the CGI. It's the actor who's pretending to be injured by De Niro's orthopedic shoes. And this is the problem with trying to de-age actors. At a certain point, it just doesn't work. I mean, yes, Robert De Niro is one of the greatest living actors, but the man is 70. Of course he's gonna move like C-3PO with shingles. But hey, as badly as dear Evan Hansen and the Irishman failed, at least they put in an effort. Because the truth is, sometimes Hollywood is too lazy to use weird makeup or CGI effects to de-age their actors. Sometimes they just throw an old person in there and hope nobody notices. Hannah Montana's brother was a 29-year-old, 16-year-old. Sonny and Rizzo were twice as old as a high school teenager. And those girls from Pen15 must be like, what, 35? My point is, Hollywood has done this for pretty much every actor in the entertainment business. It's desperate. It's embarrassing. And God damn it, I want in! That's why I've made a reel showcasing just how young I can pull off. Roll it. Dude, I just saw Kyle's tickety tuck. Mrs. Greenfield totally busted him from vaping during algebra. That is so raven. I don't want to go to soccer practice. I just want to stay home and watch Paw Patrol and eat that lollipop. Oh, I broke a veneer. <laughs> Will someone please give this poor baby a titty? Hollywood, I'll be waiting.